say Matthew chapter 26, verse 52. Then Yahushua said unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Okay, so, so Yahushua was not a zealot, man. Okay? He was not a revolutionary. He was not an extremist. Okay? He wasn't he wasn't a man that that believed in uprising against the government. That's why uh, he said render he said render to Caesar what belonged to Caesar. And one of our men asked him, one of the disciples asked him, or somebody asked him, um, well actually he was one of the wicked scribes and Pharisees, I believe, that asked him, you know, you know, should we not should we not pay our taxes uh to Caesar? Matter of fact, let me go ahead and pull that. You know, because this, this is not our world right now, man. So we got to navigate in it, you know, is with, with wisdom. Got to pay our taxes. Got, you know what I'm saying? We got to pay bills. We got to, you know what I'm saying? We got to do things, you know what I'm saying, that that requires wisdom to avoid uh, further persecution than what is needed in this world. Okay, you don't go asking for trouble, man, because that's a very foolish, uh, you know, you know, profitless mindset to have. Okay, because you 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 can you can wind up vulnerable within the very many snares of this wicked beast oppressive system. Okay, which is like a web. Okay, we can get caught. You can get caught up within you know within uh you know within the affairs of this life, and then that will be on you. You know for 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 um for being unwise. Okay, so Salakia, let me go ahead and pull this up here. Just count with how shy. Um. Salakia. So this is uh, St. Matthew 22, verse 17. Tell us, therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it, is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? But how shall I perceive the wickedness and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Shew me the tribute money, and they brought him brought unto him a penny. And he said unto them, Who is this image and superscription? So he's saying, Whose face is on, 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 on this piece of currency? That you that you're bringing before me, okay? Because whoever you whoever that is is whom this whom this currency belongs to. Surrender what to him belongs to him. In other words, like he was saying, if my if this was my my world, my people would fight, okay? So I'm gonna go back to that account, okay? And uh, uh Saint Matthew the twenty uh, um uh the, the, the scripture that I was, I was reading about uh Saint Matthew the uh, twenty sixth chapter, so it says. St. Matthew 22 and 21, they said unto him, Caesar's, then said he unto them, render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto the most high the things that are the most high's, okay? So this is their shit, in other words, so give them what belongs to them, give them their money, man, okay? When you, when we, when we, when we, when we uh, accumulate our wages, it gets recycled right back into this wicked, this wicked oppressive beast system, man, you know, through our, through our grocery shopping, our, our paying bills, you name it, Okay? Cause this is not our world right now. Just like it says in Haggai of the sixth verse, we the money we make goes into holes, man. Okay, because we the, we we are subject to payments, like it says in the book of Second Edges, I believe. Okay, because this is this is this is not our world. This is not our kingdom. This is Esau's kingdom. Okay, so we can't be in that zealot spirit and expect to be saved. Cause that is a, that is a faithless spirit, man. All right. So going back to the account in uh, the twenty sixth chapter. All right. Um, let me see if I can find that account. Yeah, I should I say this is my kingdom, my people to fight. Let me just look it up. All right. Well, roughly paraphrasing, that's what he. That's basically what he said. I'm not going to really go into that. But that was just a little point I wanted to bring out real quick. Um, but moving on, um, yeah. But moving on, man. Let me go ahead and get uh, the next precept and uh, go back to Galatians. All right. It says, but I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which is preached to me is not after man, for I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Yahushua and Mashiach. For ye have heard of my conversation in time past in a Jew's religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of the Most High and wasted it. So that, that was a, that, the, the restraint of the Jews. 
Okay, the same restraint spoken about in the book of 1 Maccabees, the first chapter, around the 43rd verse um, of the time of uh, Antiochus Epiphanes using uh, his religion to restrain the nation of Israel from serving Yahweh by Shem and Shah without persecution. Okay, without being persecuted. So in other words, we were not able to worship Yahweh by Shem and Shah without being persecuted by uh, those uh, who enforce their religion, that is their restraint, because the word religion, going back to the Latin word religio, means to restrain, okay, to cause us to err from the from the, from the righteous paths of uh, of the sound doctrine, okay. You know, so so Paul was in a mindset of a zealot, okay. So this is uh, Galatians one and and fourteen. And profit in a Jew's religion above many my equals in mine own nation before more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my father. So, so the zealousness, or the zealousness he's referring to was on the left hand side of unrighteousness, man. Okay, to be passionate. Okay, within the affairs of this world. Okay, and that's why the zealots uh, fought the, the, the Romans because they they wanted to live. They wanted they envy they really envy their oppressors and it tells you in Proverbs. Not to envy. It tells us in Proverbs not to envy our oppressors, man. Case in point. But I'm going to get this next uh, account. And, um, you know, uh, Acts chapter 5. Acts chapter 5, verse 35. And it reads, And he said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do with touching these men. So this this was, I'm sorry, here, verse 34. This stood there up one in a council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel. A doctor of the law had a reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space. So really, this this is going into uh, the account where he was he was warning priest Caliphaz and them, them wicked scribes and the Pharisees, the wicked other scribes and the Pharisees and Sadducees, to not lay their hands on the the, the prophets, the holy prophets of Yahweh by Shemeshai, i.e. Apostle Peter and them. Okay, because he knew the power. He knew that they were. They, he knew that they were the the the, the elect men of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Okay, they were they were preordained by the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai to heal, you know, the elect of Israel. All right, the the the, the nation of Israel, whoever that pertained to. Okay, and the the, the the wicked scribes and Pharisees had a problem with that that lot because it wasn't they 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 were false prophets. Okay, and that's essentially what a zealot is, man. Okay, and Esau just attributes his little political terms to it extremists, uh, radicalists, and whatnot, but it's just really a, a faithless man, okay? So it says, verse 35, And said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do with touching these men. For before these days rose up Theodos, boasting himself to be somebody, to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves, who was slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. So this guy, Theodos, uh, this 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 guy Theudas, um, was a it, well he was a, a wicked Israelite he was a zealot so it's good let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and pr uh, pull up some information on him okay it says it says Theudas was a Jewish rebel which he's really a Jew he was a it was a he was a he was a um, he was a Jew from the Southern Kingdom who was a zealot okay so it says. Of the first century AD, scholars attribute to his name as, as uh, to his name a Greek etymology possibly meant as flowing with water, although with the Hellenist style ending at some point between 44 and 46 AD, uh, Thutis led his followers in a short-lived revolt. You see, and it came to pass while Cuspius Fadus was. Uh, Procurator of Judea and, and a, procre uh, a procurator is a, a, a treasurer. So this guy was a treasurer of the Roman Empire appointed by Claudius Caesar after the death of uh, King Agrippa. So it says that a certain charlatan whose name was uh, Theudas persuaded a great part of the people to take their, uh, their effects with them and follow him to the Jordan River. For he told them he was a prophet and that he would, by his own command, divide the river and afford them an easy passage over it. Many were deluded by his words. However, uh, Fadus did not permit them to make any advantage of his wild attempt, but sent a troop of horsemen out against them. After falling upon them unexpectedly, they slew many of them and took many of them alive. So by way of this guy's, uh, uh, you know, zealous mindset on the left hand side of, of unrighteousness. OK, going off script once again, you know, uh, um, you know, being conformed to this world and looking to have his peace 
in Esau's, uh, you know, Esau's pie at his table, so to say, pursuing a first Corinthians 10 and 21, you know, sitting at the, 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 the table of Satan, begging, uh, begging him, you know, for a peace. That's what, that's the mindset of a zealot, man. Okay. That's all it is. They use, they, they use, they, they, um, uh, they use the idea of the most high to justify staying conformed to this world because that's why they prophesy. That's why they, that's why they, they protest. Okay, the, the the prophets of the Lord are not protesters. Okay, we're not begging them. We're not begging our oppressor for validation. We're telling him. We're we're telling him in a bold manner to his face that he's going to be destroyed. Okay, that's not protesting. Okay, that's not that's not revolting. Okay, you see, that's not that's not liberating. So all these all these political terms is double used to try to choke the word. Priscina, uh, the book of Corinthians is 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 is, is, is being further brought to naught. Okay, could accounts for how by Shemir Shai pursuing Isaiah 11 and 2 is going to stand. Okay, and that is of what is written. It is not written, all right, you know, to 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 uh to fight for your freedom, be a freedom fighter like Fred Hampton or Fred Hampton, man. Okay, but rather to, to fight that good fight of faith, pursuing to the book of Timothy, okay, uh by 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 way of your faith in your works, by rehearsing rights, righteous law, statutes, commandments, and making it a lifestyle by way of your faith, okay. So it says uh, and that he would, by his own command, do this, divide the river and afford them an easy passage over it. Many were deluded by his words. They were taken, they were taken, they were led astray, okay, because this guy was a false prophet, okay? However, Fadis did not permit them to make any advantage of his wild attempt, but sent a troop of horsemen that galloped against them. After falling upon them unexpectedly, they slew many of them and took many of them alive. They also took th uh, uh, Thutis alive. Cut off his head and carry it to Jerusalem. See, so that when you when you try to fight this devil, you're gonna lose, man, because his 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 blessing is a sword. Okay, how can you fight a man who was blessed on the left hand side to split the atoms and create atomic weapons of those miracles prophesied in Revelation 16 chapter? Okay, which is further evolved within thermonuclear warfare. Okay, how can you fight a man that has laser weapons? How can you fight a man that has these artificial intelligence robots, AI? Okay, robotic um, uh, 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 dogs. Okay, machines in the military, machines in law enforcement. You can't fight this devil, man. You can't fight this devil that way. Okay, so the whole zealot mindset is a vanity. Okay, because you're 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 exemplifying the the the, the uh, you know the lot of your oppressor by by emulating him to envy him. That's all a zealot is, man. A faithless man that envies his oppressor. Okay, so. Uh, you know, so that's so that's I just wanted to go ahead and chime in on that real quick. So I'm going to get, uh, and that's ultimately why you, uh, Judas uh, portrayed Yahushai. Okay, that's why in the movie uh, Judas and the Black Messiah, when that dude portrayed Fred Hampton, the Edomite cop told him, "Listen, man, you don't get to you don't get to back out because the guy was getting weary. He was getting he was he was getting tired of being used as a puppet. But listen, the the Edomite cop was like, "Listen, man, no, you 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 you're in too deep." You you're gonna be my you're gonna be my puppet and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be used to bring down Fred Hampton the Black Messiah, okay? As they refer to him in the movie, okay? An upriser for the so-called Black community, okay? The prisoners of hope, pursuant to uh, what's that Zechariah twelve and nine I believe it is, okay? That's why it reminds me that um that segment on YouTube called Seven Americans Expressed Their Rage in the Nineteen Sixties. You know, I strongly recommend watching that. I was going to play it, but due to Esau's uh, censorship witchcraft, I elected not to do that. You know what I'm saying? But it goes into the subject of this video, you know, of, uh, you know, uprisings, you know, seditions against men, the seditions amongst corrupt governments, you know, and pursuing to scripture, uh, are people going to, like it says in Genesis 49, uh, who shall rouse them up? Who shall rouse you? Who shall rouse the Judah up? Okay. All right, pursuing of Genesis 49 and 9, okay? Because, you know, it reminds me that in that movie, uh, American Skin, you know, you know, they, they, they uh, you know, Jake loses it. You know, when, when his, his son gets murdered by that, that, that cop, he, he becomes a zealot, you know, because he believed in the system. Okay, that's a lot of zealot, man. Okay, they, when they believe, they, uh, when they believe in the system, they essentially fight for their, for their, their position in the system. Okay, which is of a private, which 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 is of a of a, a you know an imagination of you know of the vanity within you know within the heart, man. Pursuing at Jeremiah the sixteen chapter, uh, Jeremiah twenty three and sixteen rather. Okay, that's why in a quote in American Skin, 
um, the guy uh, Amari Hart or Hardwick from the show Power was in a movie, and he said, whenever we die, first thing they do is put the the mom on the screen. So they they figure if the mama you know don't you know want to tear you know tear shit up, why should they? You know, so that's like you know case in point. Every time you know, and you know Israelite dies, they put the Israelite mom, the, the Israelite mama, the inferior, you know, the, the uh, lesser vessel rather. On the screen to prey on people's emotions, you know, through sensationalism and whatnot, you know, so that that way, if she doesn't, if she doesn't um, display any, 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 any real like kind of like a, a true um, affection, you know, any kind of true authentic affection towards the loss of her child that was slain by the law enforcement of this devil system, then everybody would take, you know, a lot of people would take notice of that. See, it's all political optics and witchcraft. Okay, predictive programming. Okay, and I, I thought that was very interesting. They mentioned that in that movie because it's all correl- it's all it's all it all correlates back within the curse of the scriptures, man. How our people would, like it says in Wisdom of Solomon. Let me get that real quick. Wisdom of Solomon, 18th chapter. Okay, how our our people refer to our oppressor as a master. Okay, and that's what a zealot is. You know, he's no different. Okay, it's Wisdom of Solomon, 18:11. It says a master and a servant were punished after one manner, and like as a king, so suffered the common person. So why why would the servant get punished the master? Because the, the master in this context is is the oppressor, not our Lord and Savior. Okay. This this is this this is referring to, uh, you know the the um, you know the 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 masters of this of this universe right now, the masters of this world rather, the rulers of the darkness of this world. Percent of Romans, the thirteenth chapter, and Ephesians, the sixth chapter. Okay, the Edomite Confederacy. So all those of our, our nation, okay, that that marvel after this devil, percent of Revelation thirteen and three, are his servants, and they will and they will receive his the portion of that wicked master, which is destruction, that and you know death and desolation, man. Okay, death and destruction by way of the desolation of the Lord's plagues on this place, man. Okay, which is what's which is going to be mainly through warfare. Okay, domestic and civil warfare. Okay, especially that that uh, this thermonuclear warfare uh, of two hundred million thermonuclear missiles are going to rip this place apart, man. Because that's 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 the aftermath. That is that is the uh, rather, you know, the the uh, end all be all of America destruction. Okay, because this place is wicked. The pla the main place of our captivity. So case in point, in the movie American Skin, they imply that this is a broken system. No, this is a corrupt, vile, hypocritical, deceitful system, a deceiving system, man. Wicked. Okay. You know, and this place is going to be destroyed because there, there is no, there is no true liberty here. Only the perception of it. Percent of Second Peter two and nineteen uh, to to further prey on the minds of the simple of our people. Okay, for us to worship our master as God. Okay. You know, so. Hey, man, the master and the servant were punished after one manner, and like as the king, so suffered the common person. Okay, so you you wanna you wanna join hand in hand with the devil, then you are gonna perish with him. That's why I'm afraid to go into why in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 35, it says, well, let me, let me pull that real quick. I'm going to start wrapping this up because I believe the point has been made. I don't want to make this too long, but um, I did have a lot of material that I want to cover, but I pretty much already made the point, man. I'm not going to drag it in the mud, but um, I'm going to go ahead and get Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knows his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider so, so see, the, the, see, our people don't consider that the Most High is their Father and their Father only, and that He sanctified them to be His chosen, the consecrated of Israel, the holy, is separate from these other nations, and to follow His ways, His law, statutes, commandments. Okay, those righteous paths. You know, for those who love Him, they were they were preordained to teach the nation of Israel to follow suit. Okay, to to get to to gain good success, pursuing a Joshua one and eight by following the ways of the Lord, not the ways of this world, which are anti. You know, anti Most High, anti Messiah. You know, but that's why you know they are demonizing the, the men of the Lord. Priest in Isaiah 20, 29, 21, making us an offender of a word. Okay, because the words, the word that we speak is of Yahweh by Shemeshai, which these devils consider as uh, anti-establishment. So if you if your rhetoric, you know, what I'm saying is a pro uh, pro establishment, then you 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 are uh, uh, you just conform to this world, man. You're a reprobate. Okay, dealing with the nation of Israel. Okay, and that's what a zealot is, man, a reprobate. Okay, because he's no different. These freedom fighters, man, they're not, they're not, they're not heroes, man. They're just, they're just beggars for Esau's, uh, 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 
you know, uh, you know, crumbs. OK. They're fighting for. The acceptance of their oppressors. OK. You know, so they're, they're, so they're in they they're way in on, on over the head. All right. That's why the, the, uh, uh, the quote from Nate Parker in the movie American Skin, uh, where he said, only people that we're the only people to turn a cheek. <laughs> you see, case in point, he said, we're the only people to turn a cheek, the other cheek. He said, well, basically what he was saying in movies, we're, we're the most docile people on the planet. And, and, and he's right. OK, hey, because Nate Parker's an insider, man. That's why he made that movie, um, uh, The Birth of a Nation, you know, dealing with uh, uh, um, the history of Nat Turner, because Nat Turner was another zealot. So Nate Turner, Nat, so not a coincidence that Nate Parker played another zealot in that movie American Skin because he knows what's up, man. Okay, you see. So, you know, so um, you know, it really goes back to that mindset goes back to plantation Christianity, it's to be a zealot. Okay, to fight for your, you know, to fight for your acceptance within the system uh, of this of this of your oppressor that orchestrated the system for your downfall in the first place. That's why. In the movie American Skin, where uh, Nate, uh, Nate Parker's son, you know what I'm saying, he's very intelligent in the, in the movie, and he's talking with his uh, classmate online. He's saying, listen, you know, according to the Supreme Court, you know, you know, uh, uh, a man can, can really fight for his life, you know, um, you know, especially against an uh, officer that's not conforming to the law of the land, but hold on. That's what Jake don't understand. That's what the majority of our people don't understand. See, Esau is upholding the law of the land. Because what is the law of the land? Okay. To follow the ways of Satan and to be, a, and, and to be a, a, the bidders of Satan. To, to steal, murder, and destroy. That's why the persecution of our second temple happened in 70 AD. Okay. You know, because that was a further fulfillment of the devil. All right. This is the track record of Esau Edom. Like it says in scripture, you, 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 you'll know a man by his fruits. Okay. So like it says in Jeremiah, can a shepherd, uh, can a leopard change his spots? This is a devil. Okay. Okay. Never trust our enemy for his, for his, for his, uh, um, f you know, for, for, uh, never trust our enemy for his iron rusted. So is his, his wickedness. So his wickedness will, ever, will, will never dissipate. It'll, it'll never distinguish. Because this is who he is, the vile, uh, 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 destroyer of the world, you know, the man of sin and son of perdition, the red dragon who was created to remove peace from the earth. So why follow him? Why, why, why exemplify his ways and protest and all this other madness when you can just serve the how by Shemesh Shai, all right, and have a great a, a shot of salvation from the Lord's plagues in these last days? Because you see the judgment he's bringing on Texas, you see, but I go into the, the lack of fear that the, that the masses have for the Lord, okay, and that's why the masses will die. For not for for forgetting the, the the true nature of Yahweh by Shemesh Shai, which entails terrible judgment, okay? Because he's a balanced power. He's not our love, man, and he only loves Israel, okay? That's why he sanctified us, all right. So when when um I mean uh, so when um, when Nate Parker was telling his son in that movie American Skin, listen, yeah, it does say that in Supreme Court, the Supreme Court, the ruling of the Supreme Court, that law of the Supreme Court, where it says that. You, you you can conform to the law. You can you can you could resist. You can re, you can even resist uh, uh, persecution from a cop if he's not adhering conforming to the law of the land. But he is conforming to the law of the land by persecuting you. That's why Nate Parker was trying to explain to him. Listen, their laws were not written with us in mind. Okay, that's why in the Constitution, it also says that we're three fifths of human beings. So that's why he's trying to explain to his son essentially, but his son couldn't get it. You know. Which reminds me of this precept in Daniel 7.25, where it says, um, it says, And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until time and times and the dividing of time. Okay? So they speak great words against us, man, to persecute us by changing laws and, and imposing these immoral decrees and policies to destroy us, like the 13th Amendment. And that's why the, the, the prison industrial complex is full of so-called black and brown people, Israelites. You know, which reminds me in a movie, one of their prison inmates, uh, a Judite, he said, "Listen, man, why? why if, if this if this is an equal society, why does the prison systems uh, uh, throw uh, um, you know throw away black and brown people away for life?" That's what he said. You see, so there there are spiritual elements in that movie, American Skin, just like in Judas uh, in, uh, um, in, a, in a Black Messiah. 
because art imitates life, okay? And we are spiritual men, you know, so we take the bones of the meat, you know, for the sake of edification, exhortation, okay? You know, so, you know, so this is not our system, man. You know, the scripture says, agree without an adversary quickly. So that, that guy, uh, Nate Parker's uh, uh, son in the movie, American Skin, ended up getting put to death because he wasn't agreeing with his adversary quickly. He was, he was, he was operating off of the frequency of a zealot, okay, trying to uh, uprise against a wicked, oppressive system, okay, instead of having faith in the Lord to destroy it. Like it says in, uh, what's that scripture? Uh, Romans 12 and 19. Let me pull that real quick. Romans chapter 12, verse 19. Okay, it says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai. Okay, so he's going to fight for us. So don't fight for yourself. Don't take matters into your own hands because you, you, you're growing weary and faithless. Okay, have faith in the word. The word of the Lord, okay, promised us redemption. From the from the from the hell, all right, of uh, 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 of our enemies oppressing and inflicting us, persecuting us, it's going to happen again. Okay, the insurrection of the saints is going to happen again. It happened in 70 A.D. In, uh, in, a, in a pagan Roman Empire, in a modern day pagan uh, Roman Empire, which an image of it being America, it's going to happen again, man. Prophesied in Second Ezra, the 16th chapter. Okay, so this time around. You know, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to have our loins girded like no other before like, like no other time before Baha Rakakodash and the Holy Spirit. Okay. All right. For the wisdom, knowledge, understanding being to be the stability of, of, of these times. So we can be stable in the mind. Okay, we can't be stable in the mind by fighting against against Esau, man. Okay. Not in the carnal sense. We have to fight him spiritually. Okay, fight that good fight of faith, like Apostle Paul mentioned. Okay. By adhering to the word. And ministering the word, professing the word, like I said in uh first John four and uh fifteen. Okay, because you know, okay, you you for you know, for all of the, the, the one third that are not prophets, you can still profess the word, spread the righteous vibration of his word, okay, to 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 uh, to those who who you could you could you could you could uh, d uh discern to to possibly be a believer, okay? Profess this word, okay. That's how you tear down strongholds and stumbling blocks of, of, of evil, of unrighteousness. Okay, by pushing light, pushing righteousness, okay, within his word and living it. Okay, and that's mainly the lot of a prophet, but just, you know, food for thought, so to say. Um, you know, that's pretty much that, man. You know, I, that's just that's just basically what I took out of the movies. It's all spiritual. Okay. Judas is represents an informant, an agent. Because a lot of these guys, you know what I'm saying, these zealots, a lot of these zealots are agents, man. Sakari. You know, ISCPK, IUIC, man. Let's just call it what it is, man. Not to name names, but you know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is, man. Okay. A spade, a spade is a spade, you know? You know, a lot of these guys are agents, man. All right. Modern day Judas Iscariots, faithless uh, Israelites. And like it says in Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, all right. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, ma maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Okay, and a lot of these 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 uh these these Israelites take these gifts. Like it reminds me in, in a time, you know, back then, I think uh one of the apostles was speaking about how, you know, um you know you had you had some some um some agents, some Edomite agents uh, uh approached the apostles and elders, you know, with bags, you know, to try to get them to pervert the gospel because they knew that they, you know, this gospel was getting that the, the sound gospel, the sound doctrine of this gospel was getting out there and exposing this double strongholds and stumbling blocks. Tearing them down to further exposing the true, vile, profane, evil, wicked nature of Esau Edom. Okay? The profane, vile bastard that he is. Okay? And that's why it says in the book of Deuteronomy, uh, a bastard should not dwell within a congregation of, of Yahweh by Shem and Shah, roughly paraphrasing. And, and they know that. So they know, they, because they know that if all the elect came together, if, if all the Israelites rather came together and faced the east and prayed, the Lord would come at that instant. I believe it's, I believe it's, uh, it's a scripture somewhere in Apocrypha, maybe. Um, don't hold me to it, but I believe that's somewhere in the scriptures. So Esau fears that. That's what Esau fears, not a zealot. You you playing into uh, Esau's hands by being a zealot, so he can further justify destroying you, okay? By way of his his you know, you know the you know the, the um how his system was set up, okay. 
That's why the, the, the during the time of the CIA drug war scandal, they fair justified shipping those 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 drugs into these uh, rural neighborhoods, okay. By by doing what later down the line, Blank, you know, pointing the finger at us and saying, "Listen, see, they're drug addicts." But hold on, like Ice Cube said, "You give us guns and drugs, then turn, then wonder why in the fuck we thugs." You see, Esau orchestrated the system, man. You cannot fight this beast system by exemplifying Esau's nature. You can only fight it spiritually, man. Okay, with the word. That's the only way. So that's basically that, man. You know, um, I'm bringing out a few more pre's, and I'm going to close this thing on down. Now I'm going to get on Judas, now that I mention him. See, Matthew 27 and 1. When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Yahushua to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders. So he realized he had fucked up, just like the guy who betrayed Fred Hampton. He realized he fucked up. He realized he betrayed a good man, okay, a, a, a mighty man of his nation that cared about his nation and, uh, and, uh, and the, the, um, the well-being of his nation. And he realized how much of a weasel he really was for going against that, that foundation. And, he, and he, he offed himself, just like Judas did. The actual Judas Iscariot. Verse 4. Saying, I have sinned, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, What is what is that to us? See that I do that. See that to that. So they were saying, Okay, well, well, why are you telling us? Okay, you we, we already use you for what we use you for. We don't care if you're guilty about doing what you did to him. That's the sentiment of Esau. So when you're in the mindset of a zealot, okay, just understand, you you will reciprocate. All right, you will receive reciprocation. Okay. You know, for or you know, you in other words, you're gonna buy off more than you can chew. You're gonna go, you're gonna get what you were asking for. You wanted you wanted your you wanted your goodies on the side, pursuing Ecclesiastes 7 7, you wanted your consolation, pursuing uh, St. Luke 6 to 25, where well, you're gonna get it. And and it's, it's gonna leave a bitter uh, feeling in you. Okay, and you're gonna you're, and you're more likely gonna offer yourself because of the guilt, because Jake has a guilty conscience. That's why Judas is scared with the way went out the way he he did, okay. You know, you know, and that goes into the the, the prophecies, and, and you know, in these last days, where people are going to turn on each each other, neighbors against neighbors, spouses against spouses, especially within Israel. Okay, it's going to get ugly out here. You know, within this when this when this great reset happens. Okay, it's going to catch the world by storm, man. Okay, and these faithless men will be sought out, especially you you men in, in Israel. Okay, they're faking the funk. You were lukewarm. Hey, you're gonna you're gonna be in that Judas Iscariot spirit, and, you, and you're gonna be sifted out, man. Especially in the time of the Pesach. You know, in this time now. All right. St. Matthew 27 and 5. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. So he put himself to death because he knew. St. Luke chapter uh, 6. Verse 20, 24. I'm going to get straight to the point. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. You received your consolation on the side because you, you didn't have faith. All right. Romans chapter 12, verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith Yahweh by Shem So I'm going to this off in Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 13. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. And it reads, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my, de for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine, en uh, mine indignation, which is righteous anger, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So you nations that 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 oppress and afflicted nation Israel, pursuing Jeremiah 13, 16, your laws are going to be destruction, man. OK, so pursuing uh, wisdom of Solomon 11 and uh, 18 and Proverbs 11, 21. You want to join hand. You want to join hand in hand with this devil and these other heathen nations, man. All right, to to envy what they have, to aspire to have it, to have your portion of what they have. You're gonna reap. You're gonna reap what they. You're gonna reap what you sow. All right, by receiving a portion uh, uh, of 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 what they're gonna receive, which is death. Okay, because the wages of sin is death, but the gift of life is eternal through Hamashiach and Hashem, our Lord. Okay, he's a true. That's why I say in John 14 chapter. He said, "I am the truth. I am the way. I am the. I am the life." Okay, no man coming to the to the Father, but by, but 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 by way of me, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, so no, so so he is a, he is a true uh, example of a leader. 
and all the men that he appointed uh, to, to uh, um, all the men that were given to him for us to follow. Pursuit of St. John, the 17th chapter. You know, Pursuit of St. John, 17, 11. Okay, Jeremiah 3 and 15. All right, Romans 10 and 14. You see? Okay, those are our true leaders. Okay, those who operated off of the, the foundation of faith. Okay, within his word. Okay. So, hey, man, take heed to who you follow in these last days, man. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is nigh. So with that, call Halami Hal by Shimei Shah, by Shimei Kakadash. Forgive gave me the spirit to do this video. And Lord willing, this is for the edifying for the, uh, the election may come across this video. And with that, a bar the ball, DTA, Kwame Allah, uh, and Shalom to the elect of Israel. All right, on to the next one.